American agriculture has advanced more in the space of a single lifetime than world agriculture had in more than 7,000 years. Today, agriculture is going far beyond nature to produce new miracles for an even better, more abundant life. Genetic modification, forcible insertion of genes from one unrelated species into another. What biotech companies do is they isolate the genetic coding of viruses. A lot of the same potential negative problems that emerge from viruses are also potentially problems with genetic engineering. What are they going to be saying 50 years from now about genetically modified? It's going to be bad. Rats fed GMO and or Roundup died more rapidly. There needs to be an alternative to a future of genetically engineered food. Organic and non-GMO farmers want to grow the food. And we've been growing organic since 1980. Three years to go from conventional to become certified, we had to leach the chemicals out of the soil. We farm using organic methods. We're not certified organic, but we are chemical free. We employ ecological and sustainable farming methods. I thought these organic farmers, they must be crazy. In those three years where we transitioned the land into organic, our cows got so much better, they were not sick anymore. It's our divine right and it's our constitutional right to eat and feed our families that nature makes. If we're to have freedom about some of these basic human needs, it warrants a very close look at how much all those basic human needs can be impacted by small groups of people or companies. It's outrageous that America's farmers have to live in fear because Monsanto's GMO seeds will contaminate their crops. Control the food supply, control the people. Farmers have a really unique job of having to understand the land. Farmers are the stewards of the earth. The farmers hold the knowledge. If we let Monsanto take that knowledge, they will take it away. That wisdom of the land is so important.